My name is Clifton Smith, and this was my neighborhood. Growing up here was, a, was really rough. Poverty, you know, it kind of started taking a toll. So uh, we turned to the streets. And not even a couple feet from here, I used to sell drugs. It's sad, but I mean, you would see murder and death left and right around here. We became immune to it. I was out here on the streets, deep in the crime. I ended up in Angola. And I knew at that point I had to do something. I've heard about guys who got out of prison and they come right back. I knew one of the biggest reasons was they would go home and they would have to turn back to the streets. I had to find my path that I needed to walk. First, it started off as a spiritual journey, but as time goes on, you know, throughout prison, you start thinking, well, what am I gonna do when I get out? When I was in prison, I, I heard about this BRCC program. I was actually afforded the opportunity to go to welding. I learned how to read the prints. I learned how to weld every area there was. I fell in love with the welding. I ended up getting my certificate in a short amount of time, and I was released from prison. So now it was time to put this in action. And this was one of the easiest times in my life that I found a job because there were so many opportunities out there for a welder. Education played a major role in my life. It actually helped me to get the trade and move on to a better paying career, you know, and a promising future. Now I have the perfect job. This is the path that I was looking forward to walking. You know, finding a job that I can really say, man, this is something that I love. And I can move forward into, you know, making a career out of this. For someone to have faith in you is, is very important. And that's what, that, was, that was big for me, for somebody to say, okay, you meet the qualifications and we see your background, but we're gonna give you a shot. My wife, she's special to me because she was another one that actually put faith in me. She, uh, she seen my potential, she once told me. But she's gonna accept me for who I am, not who I was. She's the sweetest. At times that I'm down, she comforts me. At times that she's down, I'm there for her. Even before we was married, we talked about a lot and what we wanted for the future. We've been blessed. I'm happy I have a job that you know, I can afford the time to spend with her. You know, the bills are paid, and we're actually moving forward to another chapter in our life. I look back at my life and I think, wow, you know, it, it's been a long road, but you know, I'm, I'm in a place of peace now. Sometimes you have to walk through that darkness, but when it's all over, all things are possible. I love you. And I wanna give you something. Hey, what is this? This is for you. Why y'all always in on stuff? <laughs> I love you too.